Well, astronomers have now unveiled the first image of a supermassive black hole located right at the center of our very own Milky Way galaxy. This groundbreaking image is the product of an international team of scientists known as the Event Horizon Telescope Collaboration. The cosmic body is named Sagittarius A-star. The black hole was estimated to have four million times the mass of our sun. It's located about 26,000 light years from Earth. Scientists say the discovery will help improve our understanding of what happens at the center of our galaxy. Dr. Sarah Isohn is the NASA Einstein Fellow at the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics. She's part of the team that captured the image of this black hole, and I asked her to explain more about what exactly we are seeing here. Right, so the black hole itself we don't see, but what we see is the shadow it casts on, it, uh, on all the swirling gas that goes around it. So the black hole itself has all these gas swirling around it that it eats up or ejects out. And this gas, because it's rotating uh, very rapidly around the black hole, it's very, very hot and it radiates. And it radiates radio waves uh, that we observe with the EHT. And so these radio waves create this glow that we see around the black hole. And this black hole is actually inside this dark patch, which we call the shadow that it casts onto this uh, swirling hot gas. I mean, it, it's fascinating, it's especially just to think that radio waves were taking those to make an, an image. Um, do we know what is inside the black hole? Or will we ever be able to actually look inside with you know, the technology that we have? Right. No, we don't know uh, what is inside a black hole. And actually going to see what is beyond the event horizon is impossible. Uh, mm -hmm. The... the um, the description of the event horizon is really the point of no return. So even if you go in there and see what it is, you wouldn't be able to come back out and tell anyone. So what would happen to us? I mean, this is for you know all of the, the fellow space nerds out there. I mean, what would happen if we were to actually p try to peer inside and go in? Right. Um, so this depends on which black hole you choose to go into. Uh, if you go to a solar mass black hole, so very small black holes, uh, the ones that are about the mass of our sun, uh, there, if you get too close to the black hole, you get spaghettified. You get stretched out into thin spaghetti uh, before falling into the black hole. But for supermassive black holes, like Sagittarius A star or our famous first image of a black hole, the black hole in M87, they're so big, so large, and so massive that you would just kind of float right in and nothing would happen to you. You would just enjoy the view, I guess. Yeah, I, I guess so. If you, if you could make it the 26, what is it, 26,000 light years away that you would have to travel, Thousand. right? Yeah, f fascinating. And, yes, it's a pretty long way. It's a, it's a long way. And what does this mean, though, for research now? I mean, I know it's an exciting time to actually be able to, to put an image to something that you know, we, we hear about. Um, what would this mean, though, for moving further for research? Right. Um, so the black hole at the center of our galaxy has uh, had indirect evidence that it was there for a while. And in 2020, the Nobel Prize in Physics was partly awarded to studies of uh, orbits of stars in our galactic center that have very peculiar orbits around this uh, very dark and hidden compact mass. And we have thought a lot about what this mass could be, and the best scenario is that it's a black hole, but that's always been indirect evidence that it is a black hole. And today, we're actually seeing it for the first time. So today is really the first time we have direct evidence that at the center of our galaxy, there is a black hole, which is, I think is pretty amazing. I, I and not only you. that, yeah. we have now two black holes that we can see. And these two black holes are fairly different in size and uh, their environment, they are in very different galaxies. Both M87 and Sagittarius A star behave very yeah. differently. And now we have two black holes we can study, and I think it's really opening up a new laboratory for black hole astrophysics, and that's and really it's, exciting. It's fascinating. And um, Dr. Sarah Eisenhower, we appreciate you sharing your enthusiasm and helping us laymen also to understand <clears throat> the, what's inside a black hole. Thank you. Thank you.